Both sides broke and shed colour nuts. They also exchanged gifts as a sign of brotherhood. But the past four days before this, we're told, were not all smiles and pats on the back. Obviously, there are so many misunderstandings amongst us about how each other system works, and also there, there was no channel where we could be discussing this and how to find a common uh, position. So, and then, of course, most of our time was taken by the issue of migration. How do we find each other uh, on these issues of, uh, of migration? There are issues that the, the Nigerian side had, has raised on, uh, you know, the, 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 the their visa processes and all that, that uh, it takes long and things like that. Um, which are things that we, we, we are going to be working on. That uh, how do we make it to be more, more, more responsive? Ambassador Akinremi Bolaji, Director Legal and Consular Matters of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, was ahead of Nigeria's delegation. We asked him what outcomes and probably timelines came out of the meeting. This meeting has created a positive outlook for Nigeria. Number one, we've been able to impress it that Nigerians are not drug dealers. Number two, we share the circumstance that South Africans find themselves, that they are not xenophobic by nature, and so we are not promoting or we are not accusing them, but we are just saying that we need to work together as one. So Consular and Migration Forum, this is the second meeting, and the first meeting of Joint Implementation Committee has met, which has now been able to create parameters to judge the work and assess the work of the Consular and Migration Forum. So the binational now, every decision that is taken, we have a time frame we have what to watch out for. So if you have an MOU, how long does it take you to negotiate? We don't want something that will take 10 years and you are still there three years, you have not been able to decide. So this meeting has been able to put time frame to actions that we want to take. It has, the first priority is to uh, get the uh, MOU on consular migration signed and, and the early warning system and our ministers have been asked to get this done as quick as possible in any multilateral forum, either in Addis Ababa, during the AU, or in the UN. Consular and immigration issues often top sources of tension sometimes in relations between Nigeria and South Africa, which openly declared to be sister nations. The subcommittee rose from the meeting, hopeful that the right steps are now being taken to smoothen the rough patches with improved understanding and actions ahead of further meetings of the bigger Nigeria-South Africa Binational Commission. From Pretoria, South Africa, Betty Dibia, Channels Television News.